man. 997. This is a 2011, so a 997.2 GT3 RS sitting in my garage. And I'm about to change somebody's life with this darn thing. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, so I wanted to explain to you how this whole giveaway thing works and how I'm going to transfer the title and give this key to somebody in the next, I guess, what, eight weeks. So let's chat about how this whole thing goes down. All right, so let me explain how this works. I bought this thing with my own money, $260,000 I paid for it. Uh, Chris just provided me the spreadsheet. I spent uh, another roughly 37,000. Uh, we'll make a video uh, going over each detail of this and I'll also make a, probably a price breakdown of what it would cost if you bought a slightly uh, janked version of, uh, of a 997RS and you wanted to dial it into this level, uh, what that would cost. But So I'm $295,000 into this thing and I'm not personally financially ready for that kind of commitment, you know, long term. I want one of these cars, uh, I envision having one, uh, a really low mile version, uh, and I envision having it for, you know, hopefully a lifetime. But um, I could make some sacrifices, you know, uh, leverage my kids' future college education and things like that, maybe sacrifice retiring 10 years later, uh, but I, I'm not ready to do that. And so I wanted to experience this car. I've wanted to experience an F10 M5, a uh, BMW 1M. Uh, the, I wanted to relive the experience of my 99 Civic Si. And so the giveaway concept for me is, uh, you know, it's legally called a giveaway. Uh, the concept is I overpay for a car, I set it up the way I want, uh, spend too much money on it to get it to darn near perfection, and then, uh, and then the problem is I can't sell it. If I did, if I sold this car, I'd probably sell it for the 260 that I paid for it, and somebody would just get it in a much nicer, nicer condition with crazy wheels and brand new brake calipers and a totally restored interior, and, uh, and I would lose you know, 30, 40, $50,000 doing that. So that's not a good business proposition. And so for me, the giveaway, uh, there's two things that it helps me do. One, it helps me promote and find some people to follow along with this journey. Uh, and then it gets me out from underneath a car that I spent too much money on. The good part for you is that you get a car that somebody spent too much money on and uh, you buy some tchotchkes. You buy something from the store uh, and it helps me to then overcome the expense of this. So the first car I did uh, was a BMW 1M. I think all in cost, I was less than 100 grand on that car uh, and it did pretty well. I think I made 30,000 bucks. I put some stuff on the Upsep's Garage site, made a bunch of videos of me de-janking it, setting it up and, and, and uh, sort of re-modifying and demodifying it and making it OE plus like I like. Essentially what I do to these cars is I make them what I like. I make it set up the way I would like it and then I think because I'm a, I'm a crazy person most people would like it too. So that's, that's the general concept and I don't cut corners. I'm not looking to save money uh, because I'm hoping to sell more stuff uh, than I would have otherwise if I just sold the car uh, and, and lost the money. So you're gonna to go to obsessgarage.com and you're gonna buy one of their two or 10 or 100 of the things that I'm about to show you. Uh, and for every five bucks you spend, you get a certain amount of entries uh, and those entries then classify as a, you know, as a, as a I guess a raffle-like ticket that we're gonna do a random number drawing a couple of days after July 31st and we're gonna change somebody's life forever. This car, me having it for this short period of time, I feel like has changed my life. This, to me, is the ultimate driver's, you know, Porsche, 
Mezger, the 997RS is sort of the pinnacle. They made 500 of these suckers and I'm about to give it to somebody and give it in much, much better condition than when I got it. So let's go take a look at some of the products. I'm gonna show you some of the things. Uh, my, young, uh, my young, talented uh, guys in the room next door uh, have a bunch of stuff that I probably will hate, but let's go through it together. I'm gonna show you some of the things you can get and how this works. So at the time you're watching this, click the link in the description. Uh, we've already done the wash and talk launch of the, of the giveaway. The giveaway starts June 2nd and runs till July 31st. And again, the name giveaway is the legal term and there's a bunch of legal jargon that you, we have to put up on the side. And so all those terms and conditions are there, uh, but really it's kind of a raffle. It's a way for me to raise some capital to do what I just said. Uh, and so we have a bunch of weird crap. Uh, I can't just open up the store. I know everybody gets mad at me about this. I can't just say, buy anything in the store and we'll give you a $300,000 car. Um, um, it doesn't work, I'd go bankrupt. I mean, I don't even know if we make $300,000 a month, probably don't. Uh, and so for me to do that, uh, to sell my, all of you or my current customers, to sell you stuff that's the same as what we normally sell doesn't work. And so we need to come up with some creative things. We need to come up with some creative, creative ideas, some things that is a, the key requisite for me is that there's an exchange here. And so if you're buying something for 30 bucks, you're getting something that hopefully is worth 30 bucks. You know, and and uh, or maybe maybe it's worth twenty twenty dollars, and you're paying thirty bucks for it, and that extra ten dollars plus the ten dollars in profit on my item, that extra twenty dollars in profit that I've gotten other uh, outside of normal sales, will eventually add up to uh, afford me the ability to give away the car, find some new customers, find some new subscribers, and then hopefully make a profit at the end of the day. So every single car I've done has made me a net profit, uh, and so it's allowed me to share the car with you, to overspend on it, and then give it away and change somebody's life. You know, most, most of the cars, the Civic, the guy, the one the Civic still has it, he loves it. Uh, Anuj won my E92 M3, he loves it. Um, I think that the guy who won the M2CS, he actually had an M2CS, so he sold his and kept mine. Uh, and so we've had such great success with, uh, with some of the cars we've given away over, over the years. It's been really, really cool. This, I think, will be our seventh car that we've done. And um, this one is a big one. It's a big risk. Okay, so I don't want this to be a 10 hour long video. What are these things called? Like a toiletry bag? Yes, Top topo designs, a little obsessed garage, a little uh, travel bag. <laughs> so, and then like a little duffel bag. This is cool for you hipster bros, um, but um, uh, we also have these Topo Design backpacks. If you're in need of a backpack, um, Bryce likes this stuff, and so he um, he found the stuff and uh, said, you know, that's good, so I believe him. Then we have the bane of my existence, uh, the OG, uh, OG coffee. This stuff is, from what I understand, I don't drink this crap, I don't know why you guys do this, but um, this stuff is actually really, really legit. So this is from our, uh, our friend Luke at uh, Coffee House. He's like the OG, uh, the obsessed garage version of a coffee guy, you know, they where he's bought and tried everything and has his own blend. And so he um, made this stuff for us. Last time we did a giveaway, you idiots bought like a freaking uh, a pallet of this stuff. Um, but you're you're getting your money's worth. It's, it's from what I understand, it's super legit. Everybody said it's legit. And then what's the deal with these cups? Are these like legit cups or are they just? Yeah, it's just ergonomic. Okay, not not neutral. Yeah, I wouldn't do this either. You, you, but you guys seem to like this kind of crap. This thing is really cool. This I'm down with. I told you there's some tchotchkes. We'll get into some really cool stuff. The coolest thing in this whole thing is I convinced my friends at High Torque to allow me to uh, to include the High Torque in the giveaway. So those those of you the Porsche Bros out there. And I'm working on, at this point, I haven't gotten a commitment yet, but I'm working on having the high torque guys give us one so that way you can, whoever wins the car gets to uh, gets a high torque gun, which would be sick. Uh, but, uh, but that's, I think, my, is my favorite item in this whole, whole batch, of, batch of stuff. Uh, so this is an obsessed garage embossed. Um, what do you call these things? 
I did zero preparation for this video, as you can tell. But this is like Kyle's nerd book, where he does all kind of uh, all kind of um, um, scribbling in here and some drawing stuff, where he does all the designs. And Kyle's like, we should get an obsessed garage version of it. I think he really just wanted it for himself. Uh, but this thing is, he tells me it's legit. So it's an A5 sized little um, little nerd sketcher book thing. But I think it's pretty cool. Michelle loves this crap. I I wouldn't use this, but. Then, yes, you freaking idiots. So this, um, you guys got to get a better life. You, my phone is, what is my phone? Let me see where it's at right now. It's like one o'clock. I've been on it all day. 94%. What do you dorks need a charging block? But Bryce says this one's legit. So we have this little USB charging block for you, all you people who suck at life and have your phone discharged all the time. But. I told you, we have some tchotchkes that you can buy, and and um, I think it gets a little better as we kind of go down the list here. This, I love this. I have like 50 of these things from Rogue Fitness. It has a Rogue Fitness on there, so I said, I want my own version, a legit Camelback. I take these to the gym every single day. I've got one on my desk. Um, I don't carry it in my car, though. Don't carry this in your car. Drink in the kitchen. But uh, OG version of a black camelback bottle you can represent og wherever you're at the gym or when you're riding your bike or whatever and then what do people use these things for corksicle put your vodka in here you walk around like a lush i mean what is what is this for but if you're a metal person these are the metal version of a corksicle those of you who buy these things know what this is all about i just fingered it all up but um we have black and blue i think the black's cool because it's a matte finish so whatever you alcoholics do with this stuff, we have those. Um, this thing I'm actually kind of interested to try out. Um, so this is something we found and they let us brand it, uh, but this would be a gym towel. Uh, so it's some iteration of, despite how I look, I actually do go to the gym. Um, hopefully in the next few months that, that look will change a little bit. They say the camera adds 20 pounds, so I'm blaming it on that. Um, but this, uh, this, what is it, Nomadix. This is, this, by the way, this kind of video is like my nightmare. Like I'm cringing right now because wait till I get into the high target, start reading specs and stuff off of it. But this is the kind of stuff that we have to do. Uh, and if we're gonna do it, I want it to be somewhat cool. Um, so if we do some cool stuff, some cool branded stuff in the store, um, we need these high margin things and I need you to buy them in order to have us any chance of us ever getting out from underneath this car and being able to continue to do these things. So those of you who get it, get it. This is actually cool. So Lewis came up with this idea where um, it's probably when he and I were going to the gym and I was riding his car, super sweaty. Um, so this is a seat cover. Nick told me we have a seat cover. I'm like, what are you freaking kidding me? Get out of here. He said, no, 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 it's for the gym. Uh, and so it's lined with a, um, uh, with some sort of uh, like neoprene type or um, it'll basically keep the sweat on the other side. And so you theoretically kind of keep this in your glove box or keep it in your trunk. And then when you come out of the gym all sweaty, you just slide it over the top, sit on it. Because that's the thing that sucks, you know, when you get the beach towel. And I usually have like, um, you know, Michelle, I've got like some like, uh, you know, some Target like dolphins or like um you know some some like princess pink towel and then i like drape it over the seat and as soon as you sit down it falls out falls down so the cool thing about this is that i think this is pretty neat uh, where you put this over the top of the seat and then this layer will make sure you're not sweating through and to keep your seat from getting all jacked up don't freaking drive around like this with this all the time on your seats you don't have to have the it's like your grandmother had plastic and on her couch. You don't want to do that. Now, uh, and then we, oh, these are actually pretty, oh, shoot, this logo. I hate this logo. But all you young nerds like this thing, this pers this pursuit thing. Every time we do these th these kind of shirts, you guys love it. If you're 40 or above, don't buy this. Don't buy this. But if you're uh, 25, you can pull off something hot boy like that. Me, I'm wearing dialed in shirt. Um, but we have some uh, some Lance Armstrong type wristbands with obsessed garage on if you wear that kind of thing uh, this is cool though this i think should, all this other stuff i maybe advise you not to buy um, but these you want so this is the um the uh, wheel kit or the the protected um socket set from sonic but this is a full set full sampler set if you will so it's 15 17 uh it'll be 19 
1921, and what's the big one for? This would be for trucks and stuff, it's a, 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 a 22. I don't think I've ever used a 22. My Raptor uses a 21, um, 19 on some cars, I'm trying to think. I think, um, I think the GT4 had 19, 17 on all, all BMWs, and then maybe like little baby Hondas and stuff, we use a 15 millimeter, but this would cover your basis. And I think this thing will get you quite a few entries, um, but these things are pretty sweet. And I always wanted to, um, to have this in the store so we have an opportunity to, to do this and then we, we always have a sonic sampler as well uh, the sampler kit it'll basic screwdriver uh, 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 an open or a combination wrench a uh, pair of pliers ratchet extension a couple of you know a couple of sockets in here so it gives you um, a sample to see you know do I like the sonic tools and I've actually about to buy like eight million dollars worth of snap-on stuff to compare so I'll have some comparison data I think I'm at like I'm like halfway through the line in my cart it's like twenty twenty eight thousand dollars future giveaway coming will be a snap-on box loaded with snap-on tools a Sonic box loaded with Sonic tools and a list of box uh, loaded with uh, Japanese and German tools like Kinepix, uh, Nepros, uh, ratchets, wearer screwdrivers. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into that. So the Sonic, I, I think this is one thing. If I was buying something in this, I would buy this. And and if I was interested in Sonic tools, a Sonic sampler. Now this, I was skeptical. Um, this I'm certainly not going to do because you alcoholics, but you alcoholics need this. This stuff is super, super sweet. Uh, Bell, Bell V, which um, Mike T found this stuff. Uh, they make these really awesome stainless, polished stainless uh, ice cream scoop. <laughs> can't believe this is in my store, but you know, I, I have been known to, to eat some ice cream. And then, um, but your bottle opener thing, I guess we need this in Helen because I keep seeing people buy cheap bottle openers. Um, I'm not an alcoholic, so I don't need this. But, um, but for some of you that, uh, actually sometimes I get cream soda or something that doesn't have the, you know, that I have to, have to bottle open. But these things are pretty sick. Um, I don't know how much these are, but they look expensive. So the price will be on the store. Gosh, I feel like I'm on as seen, as seen on TV. We have a belt, a wallet. I like a, I don't have a belt on, but I like a regular leather belt. I have a Jocko belt from um, Origin, which was probably like $200, but that's that American made super awesome belt. This is not that, but it's kind of cool. We have uh, some special edition shirts. Our shirts are freaking legit. I can't wear anything else. Rogue, we, we print our shirts on the same thing they do, which is uh, which is uh, Los Angeles Apparel. Uh, so these will either be Los Angeles Apparel or, or the, there's a few good versions of American Apparel still, um, but we have this shirt, which I wouldn't buy. It's kind of cool from the back, has a little different OG logo. And then um, we do, we always do the embroidered little hex on the, on the sleeve. Does this one have that? And this is an original. This one doesn't have it. And then, I don't know if he did. Yeah, he, Bryce always does hem tags on here, which is kind of cool. But the key is that these shirts are just better. You know, this is uh, printed in a Los Angeles Apparel 5050. And so, just to put it into perspective, like if you bought, like all the shirts you get from, from all the different places are n either next level or they're from a company called Canvas. Those are the OE of the shirt. Um, or sometimes they're gilded if they're really bad. Um, these, so those shirts cost anywhere from three bucks to say six fifty uh, printed. Uh, these cost about twelve, um, so they cost about double. Uh, but it's a shirt that like you, you'll that'll be your favorite shirt, and then you'll end up buying all Los Angeles apparel uh, based shirts. But this is this is my favorite shirt, the navy shirt with dialed in. So same logo I have on now, uh, and navy fifty fifty. This um, this um, charcoal version, I'm still a little too chubby to pull this one off. Um, so that's why you don't see me wearing this color because it this is a, um, um, a uh, it's still a 50/50, but it's um, it's a little bit thinner and softer, and so it tends to tends to flow a little more than I than I'm uh, able to pull off. Then these, um, the only thing I don't love about these is the. Um, what size is this? Medium for little people. 
Uh, so this uh, this is pretty <laughs> pretty uh, aggressive. I tend to prefer subtle, but uh, if you like the OG hex, these are kind of cool shirts too. So th that and then the polo. It's like a, the problem is, is the really, really high quality, the really nice Nike polos, they won't let you put your logo on it. And so this is just, it's an okay, it's a nice shirt. Um, and it has the, just the simple OG embroidery here. Those who know will know. And, uh, but this is a Nike polo, just normal golf polo, which we haven't had polos in a long time. Sampler kit, one of each towel. So you can test that out. I'll make a video here coming up showing you um, the, the towels in operation. It's been a long time since I've done that. Um, so I'll, I'll make a video coming up here where we'll get into towels and why I've chosen each one and then how to use it. Uh, and then this is freaking cool. Now we're getting into the stuff that I really like. So this makes zero sense for Obsessed Garage, but for Destination OG, um, and actually the guy made me these for Helen. Um, but, and I said, hey, can you make me a bunch of these and we put them in the giveaway. Um, I have a John Booze a Booze board, a Booze block, and uh, it's nice, it's really nice. Uh, these are like on a completely different level. They are oiled differently, so this is an oil every couple of years. Um, we'll eventually have like uh, the proper sanding um, products that you'll need and then the re-oil length that you'll need after a few years. Uh, but this is a, uh, a side grain uh, instead of an end grain. These won't warp, uh, so you can put it outside. Like I had them make me these out of walnut for Helen. Uh, and um, this one has the handles on it and then the feet. Uh, and then we're gonna try to put the OG embroidery here instead of here, so it's not quite as much in your face. He's gonna see if he can pull that off for me. We may just leave this off. This is my personal board. Uh, this is gonna be in the Helen kitchen, um, but we're gonna have these uh, available in, in Walnut for the giveaway. After the giveaway, um, we're gonna put them in the Destination OG version of the site, and they're gonna be in um, uh, Maple as well. And then we'll have, uh, we'll have end grain as well available which end grain is a little squared version you can also do it so we'll have it set up so you can spec it if you want to do the drip rail uh, feet or no feet so we'll have we'll have several options this is the one that's uh, going out the outdoor kitchen helen uh, and then i have a maple one here for for my house and uh uh, down the street here but these are i cannot explain to you how incredible these are i called tommy i said look i want to do these in the giveaway i know it doesn't really make sense for obsessed garage but for destination og um the guy saw me uh you know, jerking around with this crappy walnut one that i had that i bought from some high-end place and then you know my booze block is nice uh, but these again these are on a, a completely different level crazy expensive you're gonna crap a brick when you see how much i think this one's like 700 bucks or something like that but um these are handmade uh, i forget where he is is he in maine i think he's in maine um, he's going to yell at me for that. But uh, anyway, he came down and visited, brought these for me, and I said, I want this. I want, I, if I want it, then I know other people are going to want it too. Um, skin wedge tool is in the store as well. You can buy a skin wedge if you want a cheap entry into it. Uh, our dialed in, please don't wash, will be available. And this guy. We'll dig into this in more detail um, coming up here again. I've made a bunch of videos on this, uh, but this is the High Torque Lion. This is for those of you, this only works for center locks, and that's what this is designed for. Uh, and so you would put your, take your center lock um, socket out of the car, and it is the most magical experience ever. Takes it from like a two person, all you got, several hour operation to a one-handed one hand behind your back you don't have to call your wife out to hold the steering wheel and push the brake in uh, and so what i'm doing is i'm marking it up a hundred so it'll be fifty one hundred dollars or was it fifty ninety five um, which will get people more entries uh, because anybody who buys this is going to be a porsche fan for sure uh, and so we are opening this up uh, we'll probably have limited avail availability of these so if you want one buy it early um, but um, we're going to have these available in the giveaway the other real high dollar thing that we're going to have i'm going to do a dedicated video on this is the uh the pit boss jack which is a couple grand and i know blend me any of you get really mad at that but i'm telling you this thing's a completely different level it's freaking 
fucking incredible. Uh, and it's rebuildable and oil changeable. And you know, this theoretically would be a, you know, a jack you'll have for 20 years. Uh, it's made out of uh, anodized aluminum or it's aluminum that's anodized. Uh, this is the low profile version. You can get either or. Uh, this one I had redesigned with a wheel that uh, gives us the full low pro capability um, but doesn't damage the Swiss tracks. Uh, and then uh, we also have the regular version as well. Um, this is the one I choose in most instances, but at my house I have the non-low version. It's, uh, the non-low version is about an inch and a half taller to start, so in some cars it won't quite fit. But this guy, this guy is something that you know, if you were thinking about buying a really amazing jack, a lifetime jack, uh, then you know you can get a chance to win the GT3 RS. So last time I think we sold like 10 or 15 of these on the last giveaway. So um, we, I said, hey, can we put it back in here? I think we add like 20 bucks to it or something like that, just to add a little extra profitability to help pay for the car. But it's a good way for you to have a high, high probability to win. But I'm telling you, if you're a Porsche guy, Now's the time to buy it. I know you're not saving any money. It's not some big discount or something, but um, you're getting a, uh, a high probability to take the car home. So then some of the detailing stuff, uh, and I have a few more packages and uh, stay tuned. So when you go to the site, all this stuff will be laid out. It'll be super clear uh, which items make sense or which items count, which ones don't. Um, there'll be a specific page for this. You'll see it on the banner image. The links will be in the description of this video. It'll be all over the place. It'll, it'll make a lot of sense. Uh, drying aid package. Um, we have uh, the Tornador gun, which is freaking awesome um, if you're doing any kind of polishing pad blowout. So uh, the Tornador counts as well. I asked them to put the Tornador in there. Um, the OG gun and wand. If you don't have this, these, this is the, even if you, have, if you have the original one I sold you, um, this is the one to get. I mean, this thing is incredible. And um, it'll have an option for you to spec the tip size that you, uh, depending on your pressure washer, and there'll be a spreadsheet next to it that shows. But this, this setup is something that, you know, if, I don't love putting it in the giveaway because we do eat up some, some future sales of it, but um, this is like our marquee product. It's the best thing we've ever done, and um, I'm super proud of it. Um, uh, Prolock cords, we have tons of these in stock, so I had them put it in the giveaway so we can lighten up stock. We have 25, 50, uh, 100 footers in blue and black. Uh, these things are incredible. So I actually swap out on my Cox hose reels or my Cox power cord reels. I swap out and uh, and put the Prolox on here. Um, the only disadvantage to these, um, the, the the pliability is when it's really really cold is not great. Uh, but other than that, they're really incredible for me. They're perfect in Florida. But if you have instances in the winter, because it's a hard shell, which is a little more durable, um, the disadvantage is that it will get uh, stiff in the in the winter months. It does loosen up over time and breaks in. We have a We'll have uh, an OG, um, OG product sampler kit as well. Uh, we're going to do a Pressol sampler kit. Uh, and I'm going to make a video on that, just kind of update it everybody on Pressol. All the various skate decks. We'll also have a skate deck for, uh, for this car as well, which I think will probably sell the most. But for all the, all the cars, or most of the cars I've had, we have a skate deck version of it. This is the uh, 991.2 RS. You know, the, purple car um, so all of these will be be available I know you guys like skate decks There'll probably be limited quantities on these my favorite bike detailing kit I'm actually gonna make a video this weekend uh, my bike needs cleaned up I made a video two weeks ago but my microphone didn't turn on so I, I wasn't able to put that up and then we have um, some these things do really well the, if, you're, if you're gonna get if you're asking for my advice these key tags from our friends at racing our partnership with them these are like true OG spec on the RS I'm gonna I'm probably not gonna give this up I shouldn't show you this but on the RS I have the original this is my like $180 like this is an actual key this is an actual door pool that uh, Suncoast used to sell uh, I think they still do. It's, I think it's maybe 200 bucks now, but this is like 180 bucks for this sucker. So I'm probably gonna keep it because I plan to get more GT cars, but maybe I can be convinced. 
So uh, we'll, we'll, there will be several other things as well. We have a tire package and um, a few other things that I didn't pull out here. Uh, but in general, you can see it's some tchotchke stuff, some legit stuff, some detailing stuff. I'm hoping, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. I'm hoping to convince Built Hammer to be a part of it too, uh, with Touchless and um, and Atomac. They're my two favorite products by far. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. So don't don't hold me to that. If we don't have it for this one, I promise we'll do it in the next giveaway on the either the E36 or the, the garage giveaway that we're going to do. This is gonna change somebody's life. It's really, 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 really nice. It has 31,001 miles on it. Just checked it. Um, you know, the window tint, somebody may pull off. I decided to leave the window tint on. It's, it's a little darker than I'd like, uh, but uh, I'll leave the tint on and somebody can pull it off, the winner of it. Uh, the person, when you get this car, you're gonna get a 1099 for 260. I figure the, the modifications technically don't add any value or the cleanup of it doesn't really add any value to it. Uh, so I'm, I want to try to issue a 1099 as little as possible. And so let's say you're 23 and you don't have money to pay the tax on this. You're going to get the car in August. So you have August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, and then April 15th. Uh, and then maybe do an extension. So April, May, June, July, August, and then you'd have to file by September. So if you file an extension, so that's what, uh, how many months is that? What did I do? 14 months? So you'd have 14 months. I guess, no, it would be 13 months. You'd have 13 months to be able to uh, come up with the, the money. And just, for those of you who aren't you know, tax guys or don't understand this, you're going to get a 1099 that shows you made $260,000. And so you made that 260, let's say you make 100. Now you're going to have a tax return showing that you made $360,000. And you're going to have to pay you know, roughly 40% tax on that extra, you know, that extra 260. So you're going to have to pay about you know, 80 or $90,000 in tax on this car. Uh, and so one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to have eight or 90,000 bucks sitting around and you've got a $300,000 GT3 RS you can keep for as long as you want to keep for 90 grand or sell it, you know, sell it, pay the tax, pocket the money. If you, let's say you could find somebody to buy it for 300 K I'll help you. I'll help you sell it. Um, so you can buy some, find somebody to help you, you know, sell, you sell it for 300 K you, um, you pay the tax on it and you pocket 200 grand. You know, that uh, would be pretty sweet, right? Uh, or you go out and get a loan, just get a title loan, which would be awesome. So let's say your tax bill was 90K, get a loan for 90K against the car, which you'd easily be able to get and just pay, make payments on that. And you can own a GT3 RS, a 97 RS for 90,000 bucks and just have, you know, a loan of like a 90,000 bucks would probably be what, like a 1,700 bucks a month payment, 1,500 bucks a month payment, something like that. Uh, so you'll have options, but I think it's a problem that pretty much any of us are willing to have, especially some of you might buy a freaking coffee mug or a uh, what other douchey thing that we have that I don't like. You're going to buy a, a wristband or a hat uh, and or Hopefully, I hope somebody who buys the high torque gun or one of my cutting boards, I hope they're the one who wins. But it could be, could be anybody. We've had people spend 10 grand that won or people that bought a beanie that won uh, these things. And so it's, it's a complete randomly generated thing. Um, and the next, the course of the next month, I'm going to be heavy on teaching you about this car and all the things I've done to it and why I love it. Uh, we have a documentary coming out. We have a wash and dry video, which I think you're really going to like that's coming out. Uh, and then I'm going to demonstrate and show you a bunch of these products in action, uh, dig into the car more, show you walk around all the different modifications and things that were done. Uh, and then also, you know, probably also break down pricing for those of you if you're going to buy a slightly janked. Uh, car and want to bring it up to you know a, a decent spec 
uh, we'll be sharing all that stuff with you and, and a bunch of other stuff too. So anyway, thanks for your support. Thanks for being a part of this giveaway. This is a big roll of the dice for me. I just threw them out there and I'm hoping to land on seven here. Uh, and uh, like I said, this car has, uh, has already affected my life. I'm hoping it changes my life and you guys buy millions of dollars worth of stuff. Uh, we'll see. Worst case scenario, I'll lose 260K. I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm hoping you guys will participate and buy, uh, buy lots of stuff. Because one of you, I cannot wait to make that call. Could you imagine? That'd be insane, gosh, I couldn't imagine. I can't even imagine I have it right now. I've had it for the last six months. So yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be really, really cool. So thanks for your support. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. I'm um, just next car with 458 Speciale. We'll see ya. Thanks for watching.